Train derailment in the southern panhandle wreaks havoc over the weekend. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, derailment of a Union Pacific freight train led to a brief evacuation and closure of Highway 30 in Chapel Sunday afternoon. Region 21 Emergency Manager Ron Leal says the call about the derailment of single and double stacked cargo container cars came in around 3.15 p.m. with an immediate response by Chapel Fire and the Dual County Sheriff's Office. Robin Ticefer with Union Pacific says 35 cars were involved in the incident that took place around 3 p.m. with no injuries reported. Leal tells KNB News that not knowing the contents of the containers piled up just west of the Frenchman Valley Co-op elevators, authorities closed the highway in that area and six or seven homes nearby were evacuated for about two hours. Well, what's usually a routine action item that comes up periodically on government agendas turned into a discussion about buying local during the Gehring City Council last week. Staff recommended that SAP Brothers be the lowest responsible bid for a contract to provide gas and diesel for city operations, due in part to the experience of Scottsdale County's use of that vendor. Two local companies also submitted higher bids, and several council members expressed a desire to purchase locally, if at all possible. Another issue brought up by Susan Wiedemann was what happens in an emergency. If there's an emergency with fuel, they're not going to get there. And your local people are. And, you know, your local businesses support the city of Gearing in a lot of other ways where this company is not going to. Legal counsel advised making bid awards by using a local preference was not allowed under state law. And Councilman Ben Backus noted it was also late in the process to try to add requirements to the recommended bid. Everybody else would have to address that also. We can't throw a stipulation on right now, which I think is about question to throw in your, your bid if you want it to be deliverable within some of the time. Six council members then voted against awarding the fuel bid to SAP Brothers and instructed staff to work on updated language before letting the fuel contract out again. And Platte Valley Companies has announced their latest addition to the company in the form of a new corporate building located to the east of their current operations center that will house several of the company's corporate functions. Scotch Bluff is the corporate headquarters for all 22 bank locations, J.G. Elliott, Trust Services, Platte Valley Investment Center, and their large equipment financing company, C.H. Brown. Construction began on April 8th and will take approximately 18 months to complete. Traffic and customer access will be very minimally disrupted during construction. Customers will continue to enjoy banking at the same building they use at 1212 Circle Drive during and after construction. We'll have more news right after the break. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. Welcome back. Nebraska state flags are flying at half staff following the passing of a Ceresco police officer in a tragic motor vehicle accident Friday night. 54-year-old Ross Bartlett lost his life when his patrol car was struck while conducting a traffic stop on Highway 77 south of Ceresco. The crash involved a Ford F-150 hitting Bartlett's cruiser from behind, causing it to collide with a Nissan Altima. Despite efforts from bystanders and medical personnel, 
Bartlett succumbed to his injuries at Bryan Health West Campus. The female Nissan driver suffered, suffered serious but non-life-threatening injuries, while the Ford driver escaped with minor injuries. Governor Jim Pillen ordered that Nebraska flags be flown until half staff until 5 p.m. on the day of Officer Bartlett's funeral. And a rehabilitation project to replace two tunnels of the Fort Laramie Canal is moving forward with the possibility of starting in the fall. Much depends on completion of site investigations, permitting, and other considerations, and crews are working to find good value to lower the cost, estimated just under a year ago at $74 million, with an inflated midpoint cost estimate at $10 million higher. The Garing, Fort Laramie, and Goshen Irrigation Districts have already secured about $45 million in grants towards the project, with hopes that the federal government will help finance much of the remainder. To sum up the past 20 years in one word, exceptional. It's one of our core values. But our people have been truly exceptional. Our customer support has been exceptional. In 20 years, where will Allo be? When we started, we were just a business fiber company. Then the demand came from residential. Now the products of both business and residential just continue to expand. We've got to start with customers' needs and always work backwards. The customers will tell us and our teammates will take us there. Culture trumps everything else. In my years, I've never worked for a company that treats people the way this one does. It is my passion for agriculture that brought me here in the first place, but not only that, there's a huge uh, family-oriented atmosphere within the 21st century equipment. I love working for 21st. They found something in me that I didn't know in myself. An intern to where I'm at now is such a great opportunity, and that is what this company is about. Now the latest from the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. Scotts Bluff Body and Paint, your driving home, our reputation. Here's just a quick rundown for a weekend recap, plus a quick look ahead to some events early this week. It was a busy couple of days over at Volunteer Field and Cleveland Field with both WNCC Diamond teams in town over the weekend for the baseball team. Not the weekend they were hoping for as they lost three of four games to Otero. The lone win coming in the back end of yesterday's doubleheader. They tied the school record with eight homers in that game two victory. Arturo Montiel the trifecta with three long balls. Shintaro Inoue cracked a couple. The Cougars now 12-4 and four in the Empire Conference standings, which has them tied for second with McCook. This weekend's opponent Southeast now leading at 14 and 2. Just the opposite for the Cougar softball team. They win three of four games at home from Luna Community College. They won the first three games of the series and then Luna come back late to salvage the final game of that weekend series yesterday. Right now the softball team 8-12 and 12 in league play. They'll wrap up regular season action this weekend with two Friday at McCook before hosting McCook back at home on Sunday. High school soccer from the weekend at the Landers Complex, a rivalry sweep for Scotts Bluff. They win the girls and boys varsity matches against Gearing. Both schools with split locations coming up for matches tomorrow. Scotts Bluff will host the girls match with Torrington. The boys contest will be hosted by the Blazers. The Gearing boys, they'll be at home to take on North Platte. The girls team will head east for their matchup with the Bulldogs. Other prep activities, the Morrill Boys Golf Invite being held today. That was moved up a day to avoid any possible conflicts with rain or weather in the offing possibly tomorrow. And then tomorrow it's Scotts Bluff hosting a girls tennis triangular with Gearing and Alliance. That's the latest today from right here at the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.
Are you looking for the perfect place to hold a wedding, family reunion, holiday office party, or business meeting? Well, look no further. The Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel and Conference Center is just the place for you. We're a full-service banquet facility that can host up to 400 of your guests. Stop in and see our spacious open concept meeting rooms and begin planning your special event or family gathering today. Let us do the work for you so you can enjoy your guests. For personal service, stop by the Hampton Inn and Suites front desk. Take a look at your community calendar brought to you by Riverstone Bank. The community calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. We're local and we love our community. Fly United Airlines operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today and remember United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. Tired of feeling stuck? Not sure if you are on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help keep your finances moving forward with checking account options to fit your lifestyle and an online account chooser to make finding the right account easy. Control your financial future with helpful budgeting tools and automatic savings plans. Now is the time to enjoy the ride with Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. And finally tonight, last week, Western Nebraska Community College hosted a career and internship fair at Cougar Palace. Employers from across the region were on hand to talk to students and other community members about possible opportunities. Jordan Dietrich of Twin Cities Development explained why these events are important. We really um, want to support WNCC in their efforts to help people find careers. Uh, TCD likes to help also. We have a website called wehavejobs.net um, where people can go to and find jobs that are in our local community. Um, we help employers post jobs on wehavejobs.net. Um, when employers do that, uh, it posts automatically to 200 job boards. Um, and we also have two open positions right now at TCD. Uh, we have a property manager position uh, which works with our tenants and our apartments. 
and we also have a grant slash lending specialist position open as well, um, which is basically grant writing uh, to be able to help bring more money into Western Nebraska, uh, you know, with housing and business loans and those kinds of things. So we're happy to be here and excited to see all the people and, and help people fill, fill jobs and find jobs. Approximately four dozen businesses and organizations were on hand for Wednesday's career and internship fair with hundreds of attendees visiting the wide array of booths. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.